Hello, and welcome back to Deep Thoughts with Jack Handy. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. It is game time. I am Game Time Barney, and today I want to talk to you about being a jack of all trades and a master of none, a supreme procrastinator, somebody that may hyper focus on something for long enough just long enough to get dangerous at it um or to really learn how to use it or be good enough at it to say they know how to do it but to never be like hey i'm an expert at that or hey come to me if you have problems with this or like hey do you want to learn this i can show you um that's that's me and i'm pretty sure that's quite a few of you out there too so um yeah sit back relax and uh let's talk about it all right, so prime example for me, um, when I was younger, I wanted to learn how to play music. I wanted, specifically, I wanted to learn how to play the guitar. I sat and got every guitar tab I could find. I talked to as many people as I could. I had them show me how to play chords and bar chords and open chords and, you know, riffs. And I would learn how to play my favorite songs. Never the whole song, though, just parts of it. Remember, because today's episode is all about hyper-focusing on something, but not really ever following all the way through. So, that's what would happen. I would I would jump into it, you know, both feet first or head first, depending on how you look at it. And I would, I would, oh, I'm going to do this I, all day, every day. Like, uh, even, like, up until, like, I was in college. Like, that's all I wanted to do. Like, when I had free time, if I wasn't partying, you know, or drinking, or even when I was you know, or out playing hanky sack or something in the hallway, I was playing my, my acoustic guitar, um, but never getting any better. I was never progressing. I was just learning, you know, the verse or the chorus to a, a couple more songs to add to my repertoire that, you know, if we had a party or a campfire or something, a couple of us could whip out our guitars and be like, yo, I could play this and be like, bear, 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 bear. you know, play a couple of notes, a couple of bars of a couple of songs, never play it all the way through. You know, we didn't know the solos, we didn't know, you know, the, the correct order of everything. We just, we knew the important parts so you knew what song we were playing. Well, I've been thinking about it a lot lately, and that's essentially the story of my life. I have, I have done it with music. I have done it with, uh, most recently, game development. I've done it with my YouTube channel. I've done it with my Facebook gaming channel. I've done it with my Twitch channel. I've done it with my TikTok page. I've done it with my Instagram. I've done it like I learn enough to be dangerous. I understand and learn about SEO and how to try to market my videos and try to connect with my audience and do certain things and bring my ideas to you know, do them how I think they're supposed to be done and how I see all these other successful content creators doing it, but I don't give it the 100%, I guess, or I don't, I don't follow through and like learn the, the, the back end of stuff. So like to, again, liken it to the music thing. I learned how to play tabs. I never learned how to read sheet music. I never went to school or learned music theory. I don't understand why the first, fourth, and fifth chords in a chord progression sound good together. They do. I know they do. So, you know, I can mess around with it. I can be dangerous with it. I can come up with stuff that sounds cool. I don't know why it works. And I probably can't write a bunch of other stuff or ever complete my own song because I never really sit down and understand that, you know, it's opening, verse, chorus, verse, bridge, chorus, verse, you know, I don't know the, the, you know, the, the pattern or the algorithm for it. Um, it's the same way with writing, um, my own video game right now that I'm going through. Um, I know how to 3D model enough to be dangerous. I can come up with some pretty cool looking stuff. I understand how to use Blender for 3D modeling enough to be dangerous and enough to accomplish something that might look cool and be considered, you know, playable, <laughs> you know, to some people for an indie developer, you know, a solo indie developer. Um, 
I know how to use Unity. I also know how to use Unreal Engine. Uh, I haven't touched 5 yet, but I know how to use previous versions. Again, enough to be dangerous, enough to do damage, enough to create stuff, like a world to walk through. Um, things like that. So, I, I've, I've just been plagued with this whole... I don't know, this whole being of always wanting to do something cool, wanting to do something awesome, aspiring to really, like, hit something and just always falling short of it. I've always, I always find myself just not being enough or not doing enough or, or trying the right thing. I, I don't know. I'm not really sure how to put it in exact words to make it, I guess, come out the way that I want it to, but... I just really wanted to make this video because I know there's other people out there that are experiencing the same thing that like they feel like they're trying their hardest but then when they look back they you know they can see the holes the plot you know the plot holes as it were or um where they could have tried a little bit harder or tried differently and maybe would have had a different outcome um you know but they they, they keep doing the same thing over and over again and they're not they're not getting anywhere with certain things um, so I'm just going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep driving. I'm going to keep putting out these videos. I'm going to keep bringing you guys content. I really hope one of these days, you know, some of this stuff takes off. Um, I am going to record the, um, the creation, the beginning of the creation of our character model. Um and some of the enemies um, in the video game Project Dead. And hopefully everybody can take a look at that and see how they like that. Um, yeah, so make sure you smash that like button. Make sure, if you haven't already, you subscribe to the channel. If you learned anything in this video or you, you want to learn something, please drop in the comments, you know, say hey, say what's up. Let me know what you learned. Let me know what you want to learn. And, you know, we can talk in the next one. It's game time. Out.